so we one thing pump pipe pipe <laughs> we're gonna stick it technically in. that's a nipple of the watermelon <laughs> So our spigot um, has a tiny drip. Action! Perfect. Hi, welcome to VDAD. We're gonna be making some watermelon juice. That's right, so we... One... Thing... Pump... Pipe... Pipe... We're gonna stick it. Technically, in. that's a nipple. Of the watermelon. <laughs> and we're gonna make a hole in it. Mm -hmm. So, what we're gonna do, so where do we get this idea? This is not an original V Dad idea. We can't take credit for that. You saw this on YouTube. What was the show? Don't do that. What was the show? Um. I think it might be too hard of a tongue twister. Is it Slick? Slime Sam. Slick Slime Sam, that's ah, right. It's a Slick, tongue twister. Slick Slime Sam gets credit for this project. Uh, we're gonna try and recreate it uh, the V-Dad way. Uh, I don't know. But it's a little different. It's a little different because V is here for one thing and I'm here and we make our videos different and we do things different and we just like looking for fun ideas and to try them out ourselves because that's what this channel is all about. It's about doing stuff, not just about seeing stuff, right? Because what's our slogan? Play with your kids. It's about uh, engaging in creative play, blah, blah, blah. So, Let me go get some stuff. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take these two pieces and make a little spigot on the bottom of the watermelon. We're going to cut a hole in the top of the watermelon. How do we build this? And use a paint mixer with the drill. Do you remember our drill from the apple? From our apple, um, what do we do with apples? Peeled them. If you remember our drill from the apple peeling video, uh, here it is. We've got a different, slightly different sized uh, blade on there. Hopefully to be just exactly the right size that we can narrowly thread this mm. this pipe in and have a, some kind of seal. We'll see Dad, how it works. Dad, a little help building this. I'm just gonna screw it together. Here. So we got this from Home Depot. So we got these from Home Depot. You screw it together like I just showed you. So we're gonna screw it together. This is not going to be under high pressure, just however much pressure the watermelon juice exerts uh, inside the watermelon. There, I did it as tight as I could. So here's our little spigot that we're going to poke into the watermelon. Oh, squirrel! I'm hmm. sorry guys that you can't see this. You saw a squirrel outside. Alright, so we're going to have to have this watermelon sit up like this for it to be stable. Do you think there's enough rind that I can slice just a little bit to make it flat without interrupting the integrity of our watermelon? Yeah. I do too. So that's what we're gonna do. So, put here. Boop, 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 boop. Kids, don't do this if you're not a teenager, cause you might cut yourself. Oh, Dad. I don't wanna cut very much because I don't want it to leak. But I want it just enough that it can kind of sit. And I think that worked pretty good. Then, what we're gonna do is we're gonna so, cut a square or a little circle. So this uh, spade bit that I'm using is just a little bit smaller, if you can see, than the, uh, the threads here. So I'm hoping, uh, I mean, the watermelon's gonna give quite a bit, so I'm gonna make a little hole we're going to thread this in and hopefully you'll get a little bit of a seal. Kids, do not poke yourself on one of these. Yeah, do not poke yourself on one of these. It's not for touching. And everything, we washed everything really well. Should be fine. So, let's cut right about Do 
you want to film? Yeah. It would be helpful if you could get a close up of this when I do it, okay? Go ahead and press the red button to start. Okay. So, we want to, have we got a good view of the drill there? Yes. All right. So, we're going to start it here. Yes. And then, what we're going to do is we're going to tip it up. Okay. You got a good view? Yeah. All right. Did not take very much effort at all to slice into this watermelon. Yes, guys. Here, get a nice shot of that hole. I just went right in. See. Now, red button to end. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep going because we're also going to screw this in. So, we're going to thread this in where we made a hole. Oh, I see. So what I'm going to have to do is... I'm going to very carefully cut around the edge here because I want it just enough to get it started. Kids, do not try this at home. You can try it if you're a teenager, but please, five-year-olds, ten-year-olds, eleven-year-olds. You have a good view of this? Yeah. There we go. Please don't try this. If you're a teen, you can do it. But if you are not, please don't. I'm too young. Five-year-olds, three-year-olds. So, I'm thinking that kind of worked. Do this. So, that's what it looks like. So now, moving to the top of the watermelon, we're going to cut a little hole. It's a little bit like, um, what did? let's take a look at what we're... So I got two mixers from the Home Depot. One of them is pretty small. I actually think this one's going to work Better? the best. This one... It's what they used for the video that I saw. This one looks a little bit more like what they used on... Slick Slime, Slime Sam. Sam. Yeah, it's, a, it's almost like a tongue twister. I'm going to try the small one. Sorry, Ben. But I know I'm the best. That allows us to cut a little bit smaller hole in the top. I'm going to do it like, a, like I do a jack-o'-lantern. You know, we should do another video sometime making like artistic watermelon carvings. You know how sometimes they make carved watermelons and make them look fancy. So I just pulled right out. Oh, can I eat it? I want to help. No, we didn't get, we didn't get the video of me cutting the hole. That's all right. Okay, I think I should start this in. So, Veronica's starting it. There you go. There you go, V. Go for it. Just be careful. Hold it with both hands. Careful. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend doing it fast. Right. Move it around a little bit. Go ahead. Here, your turn, Dad. All right. There, I got it pretty juiced. Yeah. So what we're gonna need to do. It's definitely splashy. So I know we need to move around to make sure we're getting all of that. Whoa! Somebody's gonna need a bath. That's probably me. You know what else we could do if we want to get really fancy with this? So what I did is I made a little hole in the top of our cap and we'll uh, thread our stir stick through that and that'll cut down on the splashing.
Okay, I'm gonna actually need a bath. Maybe a bath with a little look, soap. All right, so this is nice and juicy down in there. And we've got a little bit, it is leaking out of our, our space. It just has a little tiniest drip. So let's pull this out. Okay, here, let's have you get back down here. I always fun up. <laughs> I will need a bath after. As you can see, so our spigot um, has a tiny drip. There's a little drip coming down there. <gasps> All right. Go ahead, be very gentle, okay? Hey, okay, it works. I wasn't even sure if it would come out right away. Don't open it all the way because it's, it's only gonna drizzle probably because there might be some chunks of watermelon preventing it from flowing fast. Very gentle. Yeah. Now I'm going to try some of this watermelon juice. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, that's actually pretty good. You're right. It's delicious. Right, so we recreated Slick Slime Sam's Watermelon Spigot. We've been on kind of on a summer break, but summer is coming to an end now. We're gonna try and get out new video every week. What day should we put our videos? Sun um, Sunday. Sundays, new video every Sunday on VDAD. We're gonna be doing um, more art projects, more how-tos, more parent-child creativity and then um, we're gonna steal a lot of stuff from other channels because I see a lot of cool stuff that I want to do and try and uh, thanks for watching Perfect.